In my last tutorial, I left out some details that will be needed for the volumetric fog to work. The first one is if you go into your lighting over here on the right in your world and you find your exponential height fog, you will have to scroll down until you find volumetric fog and make sure that this is ticked on. If it is not, nothing will show up at all. Next, in the volumetric fog itself, I left out the fall off section. This is the fall off, fall off section here. We have an absolute world position into a subtract with an absolute position. Object radius and fall off. This is a scalar parameter. These object positions and object radiuses can be found like this. If you just search it up. Object position WS. The world, absolute world position is just the world position. For the one minus here, we have a power node, which is to the exponent of one. We have a clamp node, a mask, only masking the B channel over here. Going into a divide where we have an object radius node, just like this one right here. And we have a fall off scalar parameter that goes into a multiply. This is the noise node. This is the distance function. And the one minus from the fall off goes into a multiply over here. This is the rest of it. And to make sure that this fog works correctly, you will have to create a material instance and use something similar to these values. This is for color of the fog. If you want your fog to say glow into the dark, you can take on your emissive color and change this to something other than black. And these are um, the other details that are used to make the fog. And something like this works good for me. And I get this result. And to make it higher quality, I can do r dot volumetric fog dot grid pixel size and set it to something like three which if you're at a weird angle, sometimes it gives some banding, but it looks good now.